Hello, my lovely Ravens. Welcome back to another video. Today, I have a stationery haul to share with you all. It comes from various places, and I will not mention every single place it comes from. But if I find it, I will leave it in the description box below. So if you like anything that you see in this haul, everything is listed down below. Some are affiliate link links that give me a little bit of a commission as to keep this channel running. So let's get into it. The first thing you see is this little pouch. And I thought it actually looks a little bit like the Delphonics pouch that is around $80, but this one was around nine or 10. I have some stuff in there too, just that. Um, I did order a bigger one because I didn't think this was going to be big enough for what I want to do with it, because I might want to use this as well for a traveler's notebook, which is larger than the Hobonichi A6 that I want to use. So there we have it. The A6 fits in here perfectly. And again, like I said, I will leave all the links in the description box below because you can get this from various websites. Um, the quote on here doesn't make a lot of sense, but it is made of a nice cotton. You could potentially paint the outside if you wanted to, and it's lined with this brown fabric and it has pockets on the side and whatnot. So yeah, and the reason why I'm doing this stationary haul, by the way, is that I want to focus more on planning and setting up a planner, and I will set this Hobonichi 2025 original A6 planner up in a different video with you because I have more planners coming, not necessarily planners, but Traveler's Notebooks that I want to set up as well for 2025. So, a pouch. Nice thing. Just a little bit too small for my needs, but again, it is nice. In there, what I also ordered are these envelopes, and they are clear envelopes, and I thought they would be perfect for loose stickers, or stickers in general, really. So it expands a little bit like that. And um, it's very sturdy. So they come in a pack of five. And I thought if I have my journal, I can potentially just put them in here with some st stickers and whatnot in there. And I always have my stickers handy. So that is that one. I came across these and I could not leave them on that website, they are just clips. So I suppose if you wanted to clip a few pages together, they are pretty strong. So yeah, just cat paw clips and I thought they were so cute. Little toe beans, it's pretty soft. It's like a, a hard vinyl and they come in various colors. Let's talk about pouches first, as we just had a pouch. I saw this one and I thought this would be so cute to hang off my little pouch or just have it sitting in there and have potentially like a little eraser and other small bits and pieces in there like um, fountain pen refills, stuff like that. Um, so yeah. It can also hold some washi tape if I wanted it to. I just thought it was really cute. I am a big Harry Potter fan, as many of you might know. This one, it is a bit more... Um, it looks like it's made for men. And this jingle jangle zipper bothers me a little bit, but... If I would take that off and replace it with something else, it can hold around four fountain pens. So this can hold one, this can hold one, and then you can put two in here. So I thought that would be a good solution in the pouch to have this sitting there for your fountain pens and potentially also the uh, refills, the cartridges in here. and. Just have this as your fountain pen carry and this is not too expensive either so um, 
Yeah, I, th I thought that would be a good one. And you could also put a notebook on here. The Hobonichi is too big for that. I do have an A6 notebook here that is also too big, but a field notes would probably fit in there or a Moleskine uh, pocket. Um, yeah. So yes, I kind of like that one. Speaking of fountain pens, this is a Kaweco Perkyo fountain pen, and I absolutely love how it writes. I wrote about that fountain pen in here. But um, if we flip to an empty page somewhere, it is so smooth. So this is a Hobonichi 2024, which I will do a flip through of when I do my setup of my other uh, Hobonichi, my new one. So yes, I've been really liking this fountain pen. I filled it with Waterman ink, just black Waterman fountain pen ink. And this is a piston, so I can just pull up the, the ink. So yes, this is in my lineup for 2025. Have you noticed that I like green? You probably have. Pouches, a fountain pen, another pouch. I thought this was so cute. And I was looking for something that's big, big capacity, but not too expensive, but still cute. And um, if you need something soft, if you're if you're a tactile person and you want something soft, then this can be in your bag as your pen bag. I do have something in there. Because I bought these pens and they come in a pack of 10 each and I bought black and blue and these are gel pens and they're very comparable to the Muji pens and I love how they write so I just popped them in here for now look how big this pouch is you can still put so much more in here speaking of art supplies I got this little case and I always thought that watercolor palettes came in either wood or metal I saw this one. This is a plastic one, and it was dirt cheap for uh, what it is because I think this is the perfect size to take with you. And if I grab this pouch, it can just sit on the side there. It is so tiny, it can even go in one of the small pockets inside there. I will probably set this up with watercolors in a short video, but yeah, I um, I am impressed by the quality of this thing. And then you've got your mixing well there. I'll probably tack it down with some blue tack or double sided tape at the back there so that the palette stays in there. But yes, really nice find. We all know the mouth liners and they are expensive this was not and you get 15 colors and they are really really beautiful now besides this yellow this orange and this purple they are not obnoxiously bright but that is what I like about that. I like the muted tones, especially the blues and the greens. I really enjoy these colors. And for the price, you don't have to leave them there. So, yes, highly recommend these. Now, for my notebooks that I bought, like I said, I will do another video on the planner haul and the setup but for now i'll show you what i have here so i was at daiso and i saw this book and it felt like it's fountain pen friendly i have no idea if it, if it is but we will test that out in the in the other video it is bound though with uh, stitching and i thought this would be perfect for with my hobonichi because it's the same size and um got a grid 
and it, it feels like a really good notebook. Then we have the Hobonichi, of course. I ordered this from Minimaru, I think. This is a shop in Australia that specializes in Japanese stationery and other Japanese items. And I also got myself this pencil board. So yes, I like this botanical pencil board. So like I said, I haven't done anything in here yet, which I will do in the setup. Then I thought I was going to use a Kinbor next to my Hobonichi. However, I've decided to give this one to my daughter. She is six and a half now, and she loves to look on the calendar and see what's coming up next. And I thought it would be nice for her to have her filled in calendar. So I will fill it in and then I give it to her for Christmas. And then uh, she can look by day, she can stripe it off or even put a sticker when the day is gone past or whatever, put a little drawing. And then per day she can write down what she did or if she is going anywhere, if she has any parties to attend to. And I thought this would be just perfect for her. For her. And this is in the Chinese version of the Hobonichi, not Hobonichi, the... Um, Tamui river paper so if she uses any markers on here they won't bleed through so that is a nice thing for her as well this is the little booklet that came with it and that has a poster as well that she can hang up in her bedroom it came with this um, cover but I found that it kind of pulls the spine and I don't know why it, it, it is part of this thing and it just pulls the spine probably because it is just a little bit too large. So I won't put that in there, but yeah, there we have it. And then I got myself a Hobonichi cover as well. But in the separate, separate video, I want to try and make a cover for uh, these two combined. So this is my weekly planner that I will go with instead of the Kinbor planner and the original fits in this cover but not these two together so this is just a weekly layout of what you would get in the A5 Hobonichi and this is the weekly A6 supplement that's what it's called so for now, I'll probably just put it in this clear cover until I make my own cover. Because so what I want to do is make a canvas-like cover where I do embroidery on top. So we'll see how that goes. So that is it, what, is, what Planners is concerned. And this is this came with the um, Hobonichi. And then also from Minimaru, I ordered these index clips. They are by Midori. And I am already using some of these clips because I only use three, but these are brass clips, so they age over time. They build up a patina. And uh, this is how they come. Normally, what, three more are clipped up here. So, yes, um, they clip very nicely onto a very thin piece of paper. And now for the fun part. Stickers! That's on this side. <laughs> Um, I ordered a lot of stickers and I'll probably have to order some, well, not have to, but I probably will order some more washi tape. So let's start with the washi tape. This is called Retro. Um, I suppose it is Retro. There's two with fonts, nice and neutral. This is also lettering. I'm not quite sure what this actually is but it looks like some kind of vintage pub music wall situation. I don't mind it. Not sure if I want Kenya West and Feral in my um, in my notebook, but uh, yeah, we'll see if I use this one. It's all UK themed stamps that are basically on a roll. And then we have these four. Also nice and neutral, but I do like the checkered pattern, so I'll have a look if there's any more online that I can find. 
another roll. I I held it together with a piece of washi tape here because um, that was this was all wrapped in plastic, and this is PET tape. And I love the designs on this one. My favorite color is green, so you know. Love this one. So this is basically you cut it out, whatever you need, or you use an entire strip. However you want to use it really, but I usually cut them out and use them as stickers. There's that one. Now I love cats, but my husband is allergic, so we can't have cats. So I got <laughs> an entire pack of cat stickers and they're so derpy and funny. I love these guys. I'm definitely a cat lady, so, you know. These will definitely make an appearance at some point in my planner. Whenever the mood strikes, I suppose. And this is the kind of purpose for these ones. If I, if I have a bunch of these stickers, I can just pop them in here. And I spread them out so they're a bit flatter. And then, you know, I can carry that with me without them going everywhere. Another bit of tape that I have to cut out myself, I think, is this one. It's masking tape, so it's basically washi tape. And it has all these um, all kind of things on it and I really really like this one I got something similar last year and um, I enjoyed that one really through that all so I found that these clear sticky notes are very handy if you want to do a setup in a planner and just overlay it you won't even see that it's there almost there we have it you can just write over it and then see what your planner would look like. So that is what I got them for, mainly for the setup. They come in a pack of three. And I also found these ones. So these are just stickers, individual stickers of circles. And you can put them over dates. You can decorate your washi tape extra with it. And yeah, they just go anywhere. Really, and they come in all these colors. And I also got the smaller pack. You get an insane amount of stickers in this order. It's really bizarre. Anyway, that will keep me going for a while. And then the other two things I found at Daiso are these two. And these are basically just tabs. So they're sticky here. And then you can let them stick out of your notebook or planner and um, if you want something extra there you go I thought they would be handy at some point also going to study something next year so I um, I'll probably use them for that too and I found these die cut seal stickers. They are also washi tape, but I thought these would be nice to cover up some calendars. So they just peel up individually and I thought they, they would be really beautiful with the skies. Here's four of the same design. Found these online and I'm going to order them for my daughter too. These are PET stickers as well. There's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sheets in a pack. But they are so adorable for small planners. How can you go wrong with that? Cute little cats doing stuff. So yes. Definitely recommend these two. And then for the last few stickers, well, it's not a few. 
So I got these Carpe Diem stickers at a local stationery. These are a little bit brighter, but if you take them individually and just have a little pop of color on your page that joins into the rest of the page, I don't think it's too bad. Um, it looks very bright on the page itself. But like I said, if you take them individually, it's not that bad. I love these little sentiments. There. And yes, so this one is one that I didn't buy double, but these ones are the same, just smaller, smaller version. A bit more muted red greens vibe. And then this one I got because it covers Christmas and Easter and sports, errands, um, days out, Thanksgiving, Halloween. Um, yeah, just celebrations of life, basically, this one. And this is, well, it's just beautiful. They're just beautiful. Um, I love the green and muted palette there. Definitely going to do a couple of spreads of those. So yes, this is my stationary haul for now. I hope you will join me on my planner setup as well. I am very, very excited for that and I cannot wait to show it with you. I just have to wait until my other orders come in. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.